Good morning, this is Calamity Calling, and as is the way in Red Dead Redemption 2, the epilogue, John can never just chill and move on from the past. The past is very, very determined to find him and shoot at him many, many times. Let's see how that goes for him. But I now doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. We can hope. That's him. Oh, no. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Who is it? I don't see him. I see bloody no one. Too foggy. Can't see through the fog. Who, who are you? If it's Dutch, I'm going to be really bloody mad. Who are you? Trelawney? Hello. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Look weird, right? Thank you. Huh? Better not be Jim, from Dutch. Stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. <gasps> Sadie! I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. Oh boy. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Well, maybe I'll finally get to have a wash and a shave before I go. It'll be nice to see Sadie again. I wonder how she's doing these days. Because it's been at least a year. Just by the growth of Jack. I need to change. Abigail! There's a note on the table. Oh god. What does that note mean? Oh no, and that means Jack's gone with her because Jack would have had to transcribe it for her. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen. I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. I don't agree. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. <sighs> oh, John. You, you're not being childish. You're trying your best with the skills you have and what you're doing. Is that the gift that she picked up yesterday? he picked up yesterday. Oh, it's a nice new shirt. <laughs> oh, bless her. Time for you to get washed <clears throat> up. Where's the wife, Milton? Um, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. This Guess is not, not the time for you to come by. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta no, save money, get her what it. she Let wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Hello. Hello. Bye-bye. Job in this place. I got 
cow. Da, 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 da. John is trying his best with the skills he has. He's not, you know, like he's not starting mm -hmm. shit. It's starting around him, you know? He's trying his best. the money to get her that branch. Then go get her. You deserve... You deserve a good ending. A few months later. Wait, he didn't go see Sadie. That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Oh, God. I feel like something's gonna go wrong. It always does. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I can I shave in my house yet? Does it show me the the pictures yet? No, it just has tells me my horse is there. I wanna shave. It's driving me mental that he's not clean shaven. Knock knock knock. Hey son, how's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife. My wife also has. Issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But... I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. I bless him. He's yes, of course, heart. sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. I don't think you ever had John's waistline, though. Can I shave now? His rustling clothes. No! No! Stop making me brush off and let me shave! I love this for you, but no. I want to shave. Stop it! Let 
Let me show you first. I don't want it to grow longer. I want it off. I like it. Sorry, I know I meant to be going for a ride, but... And I will, once I have shaved him. Yes, please, for the love of God. I wish I could see him. Like, face forward to know. I think he suits three. You know, like a bit scruffy, but... Oh, tin of food. I ever actually got to explore Valentine the main town. I tether my horse. Mm. I just wanted to give her a little spin. Here it is. Now I can hitch my horse. That plant's weird, right? It's it's just sort of shuffling. Is there a shop near here? God, there's a barber shop. Yes. Barber shop. Sir. Hi there. Hey, Mister. Howdy, friend. Easy. How you doing, friend? This life, it ain't for the faint heart. Ah, there's good days and bad. Uh, ma'am. Sir. That's enlargements of what? That's a well, weird. Please take a Hello. seat. Hello. Could you cut my hair, please? I don't have much money, but. I quite like John with long hair. I think he looks nice. But I'll, I'll give him a little bit of trim. Tidy him up a bit. She knows. Da -da 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 -da. We're in Gilles before they became. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I, can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello, sir. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes? Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. No. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. That's... Those are terrible I understand. Terms. 
Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Those are terrible times. You're doing well. Is he still looking for bloody Gavin? Where's the land? Okay, it's not too far out. That's good. Guess I'm going for a ride. I was so worried it was going to be in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Hey, partner. Hey, mister. How you do? Do I have anything for my horse? Well done, girl. <laughs> there you go. Find Charity! Maybe Charity will find you! Oh, God. Help a blind man. Okay. Here you are. There you go. That's, that's what I have, I'm sorry. Two strangers seek thee. One from this world. Perhaps one from another. Hmm. One brings hatred. I'm not so sure. What the other brings. Uh oh. That All right. Matter. Well, I'll have to take your word for oh, it. Oh, I just realized this is the saddle from my old horse. I'm sure you got bad to I mean, I appreciate the guidance. What happened here? A bit of a worry. Oh boy. That tells me the natives were involved. Someone want to tell me what's happening? No? Okay. Cool, then I'm just going to pretend I saw nothing. We good with that? Yeah? Alright. Please don't tell me this is reservation land I'm looking at. We got him now! Go! Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyone can kill you! That's what the skinners do afterwards! What on earth was all of that? Get out of the way, you're upsetting my horse. I don't want there to be violence if I can... Avoid there being violence. God, this place is a dump. But it is my dump. Excuse me, this is my land now. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. 
Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> no, it's not. Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't Spotted. sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! Don't think you can... oh. This is it, you son of a bitch! Oh boy. Sorry, I blew up your lamp. My land now, bitch! Mine. Don't touch what's mine. Doesn't go well for anyone. so much I don't think anymore but I, I I hunch my shoulders I need to remember to not do that I did the thing can I have the thing now oh it's under it ah it's you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well I got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying this place. It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how the color and everything changes once it's no longer a, you know, like an on-top object. Is he minting it or something? Cents. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. Don't have to make it hurt they quite own so much. me, they just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well! It is you! Well, I never... I, I thought you was dead, boy! Dead! Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my back. brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? No. Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Where are we going? You got a horse? Get on. Follow Shut me. Up. Mister? Howdy. Why is the music sad? Where are we headed? West. West? Oh, no, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I sing. 
Oh, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Hey, that land's gonna be oh, worth a lot Lord. of money. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse! Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. Oh, she is. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Uncle, oh, I never Shut thought up. she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more no, no. of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at her. It's the start. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Mm. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. It's a project. Oh, okay. Gonna help me? That's a damn good fence. Good job, John. Look at that. You've got a proper gate and everything. I had way much more money than that when I was Arthur. Can I not just go steal the money? There. How far? Oh boy, I'm so far from sadly. S sadly? Sadie Adler. Wow, I smushed those two words into one. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, <laughs> who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Yeah! Good on you, Sadie. Get the hell out of here before she oh, kills us all! Nice you, shirt, Sadie. You. Get out of here! She gave him. Abigail gave him. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Oh, Jim there's Milton? casual blood that you? over there. Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> We didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> the lighting is weird on them, right? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly, and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, well, it's legal. I'm usually. 
Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. How Got is from pink? New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Oh. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit Wait, of a accountant ride. or spicy I know. accountant. Nice day, ain't it? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him. Uh, about Let me kill back. him. Please, okay. let me kill him. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. Nope. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Ah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. Trying a new life. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Getting the scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Yeah. What's going on with this music? I think I had a gunfight here as Arthur. Splash, 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 splash. I feel like I'm just doing circles at this point. Hello? You look cozy. Alright, see what you can find. Like I said, the fella's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town. But I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker? Nathan Kirk? You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah, you, yeah, seen a, you seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk? About 45? Uh, no, sir. Yeah, we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's Resort town, you see, the Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Thank you. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? <laughs> Good lord. Oh, excuse me. Big step. Oh. my horse. Hi there. I did. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. I'm looking for a fella. A uh, New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Got a snack for my horse. This is pretty. Hello. You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. Who's your chair? A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s -s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. They all Is he are. staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. Thank you. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Let me go. I don't think I really needed to stand there and wait for him to say that, did I? 
room three. One, two. This is a weird numbering system. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh. Got him! Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! <laughs> Sorry. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Come on, and hurry up, Sadie. Then. Oh, he I'm went so. Right. Yep, I can see him on the map. But thank you for explaining. Right, coming. The w. Get off of me! No! Nope. the bastard! I don't deserve this treatment! Mm, you you stole. I am up then. From people who worked very hard to earn that money, so you get what you get, you thieving bastard. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all I'm saying. All you had on you was sweets. My wife is a, is a desperate woman. Hey, how, how you married, sir? Yep. None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke Didn't me. Didn't make you do anything you I chose. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a different... Uh, what now? On you go. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make him happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're yes, interested. Please. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Thank you. Ooh. I did it. Okay, Missy. Hmm. On that lovely note, I am ending this episode here. Oh gosh, I am running around more with him than I have done, I think, in the entire rest of the game for this one. But I, I like the different direction of the gameplay and, oh, just dangling that bait of killing Micah in front of me. Oh boy, it's teasing me, you naughty, naughty. Hmm. I hope you have a very lovely day. Most importantly of all, you do you.